Hey everybody, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Stellaris, the Centusion Imperium, episode 10, which originally streamed live on Twitch. So now I have two two years to wrap up this war, which is kind of a lot of time. Uh, you. You, you, you. Let's get more uh, industrial districts over here. How's my fleets doing repair-wise? Looks like Skyra took some losses. Yeah, Skyra took some losses. Uh, okay, that's a 1.9k fleet. Let's go back to Cruzio and take on that 1.9k fleet. Uh-oh, they're invading Cetus. Yeah, I'm gonna have to turn back really soon. I'm not gonna have a lot of time. This is, uh, this is sketchy, dudes. Very sketchy. Scientist, run! Run, run, run! Alright, so like any good cavalry, they're showing up just in the nick of time, knocking out this fleet. Connie's is, they're having their fleets, like, wiped out hard, with us. which is great. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go take over Tannering again, and then repair. I know I'm going to take a little bit of losses taking on that fight, but um, I don't have a lot of options here. I accept the losses so that I can keep the planets. And let's roll all of my resources into ships as much as I can, replacing the ones that get damaged. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that if I recapture Tannering and Lacrosse and d killed off the Raging Sea Fleet, which is, ah, little jerks. Stop, stop, stop. Um, I'll win this war. But then the real worry is, oh, I guess my, yeah, my, uh, improved deflectors, my, um, Shipyard, the Kakata Shipyard actually won the fight against that invader. So, the uh, small victories. Pretty significant victory, though. Alright. So, where are they headed? I don't know where they're headed. The Raging Sea Fleet. I'd like to sit and repair. Because I'm taking losses as a result of uh, having to go fast. Because, yeah, we're definitely uh, whittled down a little bit. So I'm going to sit here and repair as much as I can and then uh, retake anything that this fleet takes. There is a path to, like, true and honest victory of, like, hey, winning both wars, I think. I've legitimately got butterflies with how difficult this is. Having to like fend off just armies in every direction. It's kind of, it's fun. It's it's very um, nerve wracking though. Hey, Dennis, Keith, thanks for the gifted subs. And uh, Breviel, thank you for the salvaged. follow. Cheers. Why aren't you guys repairing? Some salvage. Okay, let me figure out. You go assist research. Cruzio, you hang out and do nothing. JJ, thanks for gifted subs as well. Happy New Year to you both. I really, really appreciate it. Hanging out with some uh, extra Stellaris. Why aren't you repairing? The heck? This is so strange. I might have to uh, 
Quit and reboot. Yeah, I'm gonna quit and reboot. There's some bug here going on. Luckily, it loads pretty fast. They were in orbit of a space station that was repaired, and they just weren't getting repaired, which is, um... Incorrect. Oh, uh, yeah, they're, now, now they're getting repaired. I haven't seen that bug before, as far as I, can, I know. Uh, that was, that's strange. And Randall Thor, thank you. Uh, sorry that your scientist died, but he died of old age, doing what he loves best. Ahoy there! Enemy ships have been spotted! Okay, uh, looks like Connie's are throwing more force my direction, which is fine. I can take it, as long as I repair quick. And now that that bug is not plaguing me, uh, repairing quick should be pretty easy. I'm almost there. Yep, yeah, there. There I go. Move, move, move. Go, go, go. Oh, and my science ship is screwed. I wasn't watching that. The enemy is in our sights. Fire when ready. Okay, the scientist got away. Good. Good, good, good. Uh, I'm probably about to lose Cetus, because that's enough that it's going to get lost, so I'm... Oh, man. This is, uh... This <laughs> is crazy. This is starting to feel like a, a, a Battlestar Galactica series or something, where, like, we're just on the ropes from these fanatical purifying Cylons. We're, like, humanity's last hope or something. This is, this is how I'm starting to feel about it. Where we have two fleets that just won't die. But they're old, they need retrofitting, and they're constantly uh, degrading. And uh, I'm just uh, on the ropes all the time. This is very Battlestar. <laughs> I, I do, there is, there is hope for this war though, the Connie War. I really do think. Now that I have my fleets together, I'm going to start uh, rampaging, I think. They wish to speak with us. Yeah, and you're not keeping Stutatch lacrosse. You're keeping nothing. I'm risking my home world just to beat you. That's how much I want you dead. Scrap code, thanks for the sub. You thought 001 were the robots? Yeah. They are technically the robots. Hey, girl. You are very Fleet eager to say engaged. hi to me. Give them a broadside. All right, down goes another fleet. There's going to be a lot of debris for me to uh, to analyze here, because I've been I've been honestly wiping the floor with these guys, and uh, I don't currently have a science ship, so maybe I'll roll one out. Okay, I think my shipyard's going down. No, maybe not. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Waffle Fortress just died, though, of old age. He was the one that got um, uh, ejected out of Cruzio. So that's that's a thing. We're finally getting to the point because I'm a certain amount of time into the into the um, campaign or whatever to call it that like I'm going to be losing a lot of people due to old age. Because they're, you know, I hire them all roughly at the same time and they're all aging out at the same time. I have no idea, no idea how the Kakata shipyard survived. It, it's, it's like 1% HP or something. Just keep on keeping on. I have, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's ridiculous. It's a miracle. It's a, it's a New Year miracle. Shields! Yes! Yes! Oh, yes. Improved, improved deflectors. <laughs> our first shield upgrade in 50 years. Finally coming our way. That was, uh, that was horrifying, having to wait that long for it. So let's put another scientist in here. Um, I don't know. Someone that doesn't... You. Yes. Let's hire that guy with the little robot. Because it's a uh, research advantage. So let's switch him in for Viper. Uh, and then put Viper in this ship. Viper, you're going to go analyze debris. 
And then the new scientist is going to be named... Um... Nightbot? Should... Should I keep the name Nightbot? You guys decide. Should I keep the name Nightbot? Or re-roll it? So I'm about to, uh... I'm so close to winning the war against the Connie that settling for white peace feels bad. They wish to speak with us. Uh, I don't want research or migration treaties with anyone ever. Secured. Crystal mines are done. Let's go for cruisers. Ooh. Well, there was cruisers and then there was also plasteel armor. I'm going to go for cruisers. I think that's going to be game changer. So Hoots, build the crystal mining stations. And now my two fleets are going to retake uh, Byron Industries Bastion and potentially end this war. They wish to speak with us. All right, you guys say yes. Keep Nightbot. All right. Will do. Nightbot gets to keep a name for once. Flotsam salvaged. So this scientist up here, I keep uh, neglecting because I'm busy, but they're just sort of exploring, figuring out what is going on in the universe. Um, all right, I'm going to settle status quo with the Connies because I don't think I'm going to be able to achieve the war goal. So, when the war goal only gives me influence. So, send an offer status quo. Uh, these ships here are going to go to Facepalm to repair, retrofit, if there's any retrofitting needed, and then uh, start to push against the Templar. So, let's update that priority. Go fix the border gore with Themlar. Is, I think, probably the most accurate way to put it. Because there's, um, there's a lot of border gore. Ahoy there! Enemy ships have been spotted! Oh, and here... Okay, this fleet that they're sending to Cetus is absolutely enough to take down Cetus. So, couldn't be any better. So, I'm at peace with the, um, Connie for now. Uh, but I, I will not forget what they did. Uh, what I will do is I'll send my scientist up here now that we have a peace treaty up to do the fungal trail thing. Um, but actually the fungal trail might be an archaeological site. I'm not sure. In Tannering, let's go tend to Tannering finally because it's been neglected for so long. So I'm going to upgrade the planetary administration and then um, and then start building industries there so that people have jobs. 001 has been sort of duking it out with the Themlar, but um, they haven't recovered a lot of territory, and I've lost Randall Thor, uh, Desolate, and Skyra as a result. So, relying on them, they're reliably unreliable. Dark Zan, thank you for the... the, re the... Was that a sub in advance for half a year? Wow. If that is, my activity feed doesn't make it clear, but, but cheers, and thank you. That's awesome. Makes up for the fact that I'm losing my homeworld right now. Loots from enemy wrecks seized. I'm gonna get really close to fully having plasteel materials by the time I'm done lost. analyzing all this debris. Which is cool. Another Baldrack public announcement. Uh, they had some sort of insurrection and they're executing individuals. Okay. Whatever you want to do, dude. Well, I'm going to have a huge hit on my economy because they just uh, invaded the, be under attack. my home system. And in fact, my science ship now is under attack because uh, the starport is shooting it. So I'm going to have him back up before he goes poof. So 
I do hope that I'll be able to go retake all that territory really soon. I think what I want to do is I want to, um... Yeah, I'm going to go straight for my homeworld. I'm not going to bother with Ranulthor, Desolate, or Skyra. As much as I want those systems, uh, they're not mission critical, like Cetus Prime is. Come on, fleets. God, my fleets are slow. Grumper. Gorgeous Grumper. Thank you for the resub. Ah, you are a longtime YouTube watcher. Finally made it to Twitch. I appreciate it. it that happens often to me, and it, I, it's so cool that people will uh, will make the jump from platform to platform because it doesn't happen that often. Salvaged. All right, let's make a quick pit stop. Reinforce as much as we can. Um, I am not going to get improved deflectors before it matters. So there's no point in waiting to retrofit. I thought I had hyperdrive 2 already, didn't I? Or is that just my imagination? That would be engineering. No, I guess I didn't have that. I had ion thrusters. Well, you kind of don't like Twitch, but whatever. <laughs> I appreciate it. It's it's supporting me, not Twitch. Well, okay, 50% supports Twitch, but... Uh, yeah, everybody has their own preferences. I, I completely understand, and it makes sense to me. All right, my flotillas are... Uh, they're ready to go. So, Skyra follows Zach. Or actually, Zach follows Skyra. And let's start recapping. So I think what I'm going to do is not take any side paths like Cosalite and just go straight for Cetus and then start to fill out everything that I can. Uh, what is going on over here? There's something I need to vote on. The Tenyaki Conservation Act? Uh, I don't care. Tenyaki Path Control? I don't care. By I don't care, I'll just oppose it. Intellectual booty. Ooh, my energy credits are terrible. Because Cetus Prime and all of its uh, trade value is um, captured at the moment. That kind of sucks. Uh, terraforming, I think, is going to be really, really, really necessary uh, for the way forward. So I'm going to pick that as a research. And uh, let's, let's hope this goes well. I have no idea. Okay, so they have a superior fleet to me, but at least it's not overwhelming. Um, let's see. I'm going to try to steal to... No, I don't have the energy credits for that. I'm going to speed time up, though. Now that things aren't so tumultuous. Oh, there we go. We grow zero one one is uh is or zero zero one is recapping desolate for me. That's that's nice. It's literally, probably the least you could do. Flotsam salvaged. I should be almost done with the um, plasteel at this point, given how many ships of uh, Connie I blew up. Also looks like Nivan doesn't need to be forbid. Um, they destroyed whatever was there. Planetary capitals? Here I come. So they haven't evaded Cetus Prime, so I can still control Cetus Prime. Oh, and I got a new asset against the uh, Themlar. So I can still control Th um, Cetus Prime, it's just that uh, all the trade value of um, of the solar system is, is, you know, obtained, or whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to have to fix that. As soon as I can. The enemy is in our sights. Fire when ready. And here is their fleets. What speed am I playing on? It's uh, up here. Right now I'm playing on fast. Before I was playing on normal because I hadn't played this in like three weeks. So I needed to mentally catch up to where I was. That and I was fighting like two massive wars at once. Loots from enemy wrecks seized. 
Alright, so that was the last of the debris against the Connies. And Viper is now going to go to Orville for the fungus thing. So here is the Border Gore recapture efforts. Uh, taking a look at the... So the other problem is... Um, the war exhaustion is rather high, so I might actually not be able to... Oh, wow. Zero, zero, 001 lost a whole lot of stuff. I have zero sympathy for them. Um, I'm really tempted to try to fix this Border Gore more, but I I'm going to do the bare minimum. Trying to get set as prime. I think that's probably the way to go forward. Hey, Vamarks. To Greetings us. to you. Our planet is seized. Its riches uh -oh. plundered. Yep, they just took my capital. That is what we would call not good. And that's why I'm headed there. Uh, the problem is I don't really have an army to recapture it. So I'm going to need to start rolling out armies at Tannering. So Tannering is currently my capital, de facto, because I don't really have any other... Um, <laughs> I don't have any anything else. Uh, my army that was at Cetus Prime died in the defense of Cetus Prime. Because uh, I had like seven or eight there. So it's rather surprising how fast it went down. So now the glorious recapture. So as long as I don't have to fight all of Themlar's ships all at they once, to speak with us. there's a way forward. No, I don't need you to guarantee my independence. Get out of here. I might have just been kicked in the nuts, but I'm not that weak. I'm going to start to move this uh, science ship. To do the excavation, because it's empty and doesn't have a scientist in it, so if it blows up, it's not a big deal. Well, oh, my economy is so screwed up from missing... Uh, I can't afford this. So screwed up from losing my, my capital. Yeah, keep running. I'm coming for you. And cooperative research just got passed. So more diplomatic weight from tech. In the long run, that should be good for me because I'm going to focus on technology. But for now, that probably doesn't help me at all. The fish are resilient. <laughs> Elon, they are. They are. Well, we've come back from worse. So what do I need most? Uh, maybe generator districts. Because my money is... My uh, energy is real, real bad. So they have... Um, they have some pretty sizable fleets at Tau and uh, Small Street. So I gotta be careful about that. So let's go stack up on the... On the jump booty. border and jump at once. I'm going to research field modula modulations for a little bit more energy credits as well. Looks like they're bailing out of my territory. So they must have um, ships tied up in some other wars. Because I, I don't really see that there they have a lot of fleets here. In the situation log. This is the last... Uh, no, the fifth Arassian. Okay. If it was the last, it'd be a little bit more um, exciting. Oh, yeah. You want to fight? Come on. Yeah, that's what's up. A new general to retake my home world, and this general's name is Zach Dyer. So not only are you a fleet, you're a general. Congrats. So this is, uh, they're mustering at Tannering, but the problem is Tannering and Cetus are nowhere near one another, so it's going to be a while for them to get from point A to point B. So 
So I do want to try to retake Petrovol, Byron, Markham, but mo most importantly, Asetis, obviously. Without the capital, I'm uh, in a bad way. Uh, I think I'm going to wait at Small Street, though, because my ships are really, really, really damaged, and to keep pushing will not do me any justices. I also have to float my economy for now by um, impovering, impoverishing myself by selling off everything that I can. Just the way it is. They wish to speak with us. I find it so rude when they're like, we'll guarantee your independence. I know it's kind, but get out of here. Oh, it's doing this thing again. Repair, guys. Hang on. I don't know what's going on, but it doesn't take that long to save and load. There we go. Silly bugs. We're fish, not bugs. All right, Zach Dyer is almost fully repaired. Sarah, thanks for the uh, the sub. Welcome. Welcome to the stream where I'm just getting my butt kicked. So small, small Street is back online. This debris is for railguns and sensors and combat swarm computers, so that would be really good for me to uh, research with uh, Banished Puppet once Byron's recaptured. Uh, this war is actually going pretty well, but I wasn't the defender. Um, zero, zero, 001 is. So they get to decide when to call, call peace. So I have... Um, it's, it's a little sketchy because if zero, zero, 001 decides to sign a peace treaty before I recapture my home fire. planet, uh, I'm screwed. But that's yeah, just the way it is. My demise and Byron, thank you for uh, the resubbing. Hostile station engaged. All right, what's going on? This is Byron. Speaking of Byron, yeah, I did say your name. Your bastion and your solar system are now recaptured, or almost. There it is, recaptured. Uh, let's see. Consumer go Oh, God. My economy is so screwed up right now. All right. That will keep me uh, floated for a little bit longer. We grow ever stronger. Hmm. <laughs> What is this ship doing? Just exit the solar system. What are you doing? What? All right, whatever. Science ship, I'm deleting you because you're, you're broken. All right, this science ship is at the fungal trail, I think. And let me double check on this. Um... Now, what, whatever it was, it's gone now. So I'm just going to have them explore uh, Connie's territory. Here we are recapturing Petrable. And... Oh, I can't afford that. Let's not do that. Can't really afford to do anything but recap my uh, my capital. Banished puppet died of old of old age, as I was sending you out to do important research. Um, all right, let's hire another one. The poetic artist.
and you are going to go get that debris. You also might die because it looks like there's a fleet coming in. So, good luck. I'll try to keep you alive. All right, now down to my capital. Hoping that we stay in this war a little bit longer, because if we don't, I am so screwed. And Petrable, thanks for the bits. Glad that I uh, recapped you, I'm guessing. Trying to fix all that border gore. So Randall Thor and Skyra ended up with um, stations, which makes it a little bit harder for me to recapture, which is kind of obnoxious. But uh, that's just the way it is. Uh, poetic. Yep, let's get you out of here. Take they did send a fleet action. and you can't stick around. And then my fleets are about to go to set us prime. Um, the problem is I don't really have an army to reinvade it. Uh, but we'll see once I'm there uh, how many garrison they have to know how difficult it would be to uh, recapture it. Because right now I have eight armies and they're traveling, uh, but they're they're not close. They are months, months out. All hands, fire at will. They are 596 stage. days away. There's no armies here, though. So as soon as I have anyone that can touch ground, uh, we'll recap it immediately. As long as I can keep um, Themlar's armies away. So that's good news. So set us the system has now been recaptured. The planet has not. Another issue that I might have with the planet is um, they own it. So they could be... Yeah, they're purging me. Oh, Jesus. Because, of course, they're fanatical purifiers. Woo! Well, army, get there fast. I, I, I don't know what else to say. Literally, I'm being purged. So, hustle? And as soon as I recapture some of the stuff around here, I can try to fix as much of the border gore as I can. Uh, recapping, recapping Cosalite, Randall Thor, and Skyra. I also probably want to leave one of my fleets uh, at home or at Small Street to make sure Small Street doesn't fall to any invaders. That would uh, stop my army from recapping my homeworld. Can I create an army nearby? No. I can only create an army at Tannering. You can only create armies on planets, and my closest planet is Tannering, so that's where I've been creating armies, but um, without jump drives or anything like that, it is a whole lot of hops, and there's no shortcuts. I'm also out of alloys. The problem is, all the people that live on set it. Oh. Oh, you piece of... Zero, zero, 001 just signed a peace treaty, and I don't even own my own home planet anymore. Thanks, Zeros. Okay, you know what? Your stupid defense pact, it's so... I'm so over with you. Where is it? Um, why can't I stop? What, what is going on here? Break defensive pack. Yeah, there it is. Okay, well, Tannering is now my capital. Um, I'm at peace with uh, Themlar for how many years? For 10 years. And I have to rebuild from basically nothing, thanks to zero, zero stupid idiots over there. And after breaking that defensive pact, um, I can't declare a war on them for 10 years either. Because there's a 10 year, uh, 10 year cooldown for breaking packs. Uh, so the best I could do is to invest as heavily into tannering as I can, so that I can start to put things back together. So first things first is to get my negative, um, my negative economy up into the positive. Uh, and I think one way to do that is to dry dock my fleet so that they're not so expensive. So I'm going to build a crew quarter here and have them sit here. I'm also going to look at other opportunities for additional war targets because I have a really strong fleet compared to everything else. Um... 
But if I can make a little bit more uh, energy credits, I'll be able to terraform places like Exarch, True Montaigne, or Desolate. Uh, because I am currently researching terraforming, and I'll be able, to, or even in Deku, um, I'll be able to start repopulating as fast as I can. I did acknowledge that um, 001, you know, the war that I was in because I was pulled into it as a defensive pack, uh, I was at the mercy of their stupidity, and they were stupid, so I suffered. Um, rebuild the economy is currently the goal. I actually rather like um, being on the ropes. Normally when I play Stellaris, I find it so easy that it's just not that exciting because it's very predictable. I like win no matter what. So being on the ropes Loops like this is kind of fun. Alright, uh, Poetic Artist. You have absolutely no way to get the signs of the... Oh, no, this is just signs of activity. Okay, yeah. Go do that. Research complete. Uh, maybe hyperdrive so I can jump around faster. And then I'm out of alloys again. My economy is uh real bad. What I really need to do is I need to uh, build up tannering as fast as I can. Because now I only have 12 pop, which is probably the least populated empire in the entire um, galaxy. Except for the ones that have died. Because there's been one or two... Um, there's been one or two uh, other empires that are, are extinct. Alright, come on. My stupid fleets are so slow. It's, it's absurd. Let me go back to fast speed. Have I lost a series that I've done? No. I have not. So I'm just balancing out these two fleets so that there's the same amount of ships in both. 28 per, and then I'll... We grow ever stronger. I'm going to start to send these fleets out to... Uh, one of them to go and clear um, the shardlings in the uh, mining core. All right, Skyra, you'll... I don't have any resources to repair, so go clear out uh, some of these in other things. Um, okay, that covers my economy for a little bit longer. How long till we have cruisers? It won't really matter. I don't have the alloys to make cruisers, so I could get cruiser tech tomorrow and not have a cruiser for like 10 years. So cruisers are technically 141 months left, but it might as well be never, because I have no ability to afford it at the moment. Ooh, I found a uh, crypt key. Encryption key. Yeah, they'll regret taking my homeworld, absolutely. Refugees have arrived at Tannering Prime. So Tannering Prime just got one extra um, inhabitant who was, you know, fled from uh, my, my ex-homeworld. Would a trade hub at Tannering help? Um, it wouldn't hurt. Byron, thanks for even more gifted subs. I think... Let me think about that, actually. 
So if we keep the shipyard of facepalm, um, let's say that we do that. I. The problem is I don't have a so so no I guess it, it wouldn't help. Um, all I would be getting is Stu Tatch's uh, trade value. <laughs> Bomorix again? Holy cow, dude! <laughs> Thank you. Oh man, that is incredible. That's twice now, or thrice or something. Just you keep going, kicking this uh, year off. You got to start the year off right. <sighs> After getting my butt kicked in Stellaris, that is a. Uh, that is that is too kind. So I think instead of a, um, I think what I'll do. Ooh. So here at Chelsea, I think if I'm gonna build anything, I need more alloys. So I'm not gonna worry about um, about trying to get more trade price or trade value. I just need alloys, and alloys is gonna be my my sole focus. So thank you. You have you've now again the blush lights. You're rooting for the fish folk. I appreciate it. I'm probably dead last now in the uh, victory. Yo, yeah, there I am, dead last. By like a lot. I'm not even close. That's what that's what you get for losing your homeworld. What's funny about losing my homeworld? All right, funny is weird, but I really lost it because of um trade lights. Because of these windy, this windy, crazy trade lane, these hyper lanes, like if these two connected, I wouldn't have lost my homeworld. It's just it takes like a two years to go from Tannering to Cetus because I don't, I can't just. There's no li lanes until I get jump drives or gateways or something, and that's honestly the sole reason I lost my the war. Project that's it. Done. That's like the only reason. Not so special um, now, was it? Because I just couldn't get from point A to point B in time. <laughs> Which is like kind of ridiculous to me. Uh, what am I out? Out of uh, alloys again? There you go. Yeah, it also hurt my expansion. I got really bad... Uh, uh, the, when the galaxy formed, I had really bad sort of random luck. And that way too. Which is, you know, this is the way it goes sometimes. More refugees arriving at Tenering. So I'm just going to need to keep uh, creating jobs here at Tenering because those refugees are just going to keep flooding. And here is the last of Supremacy opening up another. Um, Ascension Park. So I'm going to have you guys vote on the Ascension Park now. Uh, we could go for one vision, which would be for unity, governing ethics attraction, and a lowered amount of amenities that we need. Uh, what else? It's like kind of the only thing that's um, attractive here. Because, well, I'll... I'll have to explain something first. So there's sort of three ways to advance your species. There is mind over matter, which is um, psionics, which usually is more for spiritualists. Um, so if because we are a materialist uh, empire, Imperium, it would kind of be against our core values to go mind over matter. Uh, but we could. I just wanted to explain that. The other two methods to advance your species is to shed your your um, your physical form and become sort of robotic, which is more in line with um, the materialist, and that would be down here. Flesh is weak, uh, but it requires me to have the droids technology. And then the third way is through genetic engineering, gene tailoring. And that's sort of, um, anyone could do that. So, uh, what I could do is include these, even though they're locked. Or, hmm. The first question I'm going to ask is, how should I evolve 
as a species. Mind over matter, which is Cyanox? I don't even know how to spell Cyanox. Yeah, I totally spelled it wrong. Uh, Cyanox, which is spiritualist, sort of. Uh, then there is the flesh is weak. Materialist, becoming robots. And then the um, in engineered evolution. Genetic engineering, being gene warriors. So I would definitely lean towards Flesh is Weak or Engineered Evolution. Um, my feeling is that, and I'm not going to put my thumb on the scale, but one of these two options, in my opinion, are stronger than the other. Mind over matter would be a real governing nightmare. And then after we vote on how I evolve as a species, then I'll post up some of the uh, other Ascension perks. Uh, but I think One Vision is probably the only viable one to get right now, in my opinion. Man, I can't believe I lost my homework. That is that is so absurd. I hate I hate you, little butterflies. Hate 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 you. Well, luckily, uh, Tannering Prime here is becoming stabilized, and it's growing pretty fast. What governor do I have? Uh, let's. Wow, you're 91 years old. Let me throw in the 91-year-old governor. But he'll probably die tomorrow, so. All right, I'm going to put one more minute on that poll. So, there's the timer. Can I do espionage to the point that Themlar declare war on me? No. Uh, we're forced in a peace treaty for the duration of our peace treaty. The only reason they were able to double declare war on me is using my defensive pact with... Um, the Dumbbots. I'm just going to call them Dumbbots for now on. Using my defensive pack with the Dumbbots so that I got pulled into yet another war against them. That's the only way to have a, a, a war with an enemy within two wars within one uh, ten year ten time period. So it, it was my defensive pack with Dumbbots fault entirely. It, or, or honestly it was my fault because I should have broke that defensive pack after the first time they let me down. <laughs> They are no Rick Astley. They did let me down. Again, and again, and again. Stupid dumb bots. I look forward to the day where I conquer them too. So you guys want engineered evolution, which is the genetic engineering, so I will respect that. And, uh... Alright, uh... So, what essential perks should I get? I'll include some other options, but, um... Uh, so I'll, I'll read them all off and uh, and put them all in. So ending man engineering, I'm gonna skip because that's really only a multiplayer one. Uh, Interstellar Dominion. This is gonna take me a while to type up. Interstellar Dominion is pretty straightforward. It's that I claim and build star bases. I claim other people's territory and build star bases more cheaply. Um, then there is the. Grasp the Void, which is allows me to build more um, star bases. I am having a super hard time actually typing today. So, I almost typed Grap the Vod. Uh, one Vision, which is the Unity, building up even more traditions. Uh, Mastery of Nature. Mastery of Nature is... It allows you to have larger planets, which could be pretty good because one of the benefits of um, being fish people later on is we'll gain Hydrocentric, uh, which allows us to... And I'm going to include Hydrocentric in this. So Hydrocentric allows f water or ocean people to improve their ocean worlds significantly. And... I'm about to unlock the ability to get hydrocentric because I'm currently researching terrestrial sculpting. So uh, it's very, very close. It's it's probably months away. Uh, Transcendent learning is not a terrible one. This allows your leaders to level faster and to level higher. 
And I'm actually going to get rid of Grasp of the Void on that um, list. And probably Dominion too. Those are terrible options. So I'm going to drop them. Thank you for tuning in to the Centusion Imperium, which originally streamed live on Twitch January 1st. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. Discord has a method to sign up for events and notifications, and the link can be found in the description or at Rodamont.com. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to all of my Twitch subscribers, Patreon patrons, and viewers like you that support the channel. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, friends. <laughs>